In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new DV feature coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and I'm excited today to talk about the brand new DV feature called the DV Responsive Preview System. Now, we are able to design our web pages and have an idea of what they're going to look like based on different mobile screen sizes and even custom sizes. Let's dive in and take a look at what this uh, preview looks like. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you will get access to my web design formula course based on Divi. And this course teaches you how to design professional looking websites from beginner to expert. And it's also project based, which means by the end of this course, you're going to have a new beautifully designed website. And this course cost 497 but you get it for free if you buy Divi using my affiliate link and the link is in the video description below. All right, so now that we're here in our admin dashboard, the first thing you need to do is to click here where it says updates. So what this does is it just pretty much refreshes the system and pulls down if there's any updates. And now the reason why you want to do this is because sometimes you may not get the update, okay? So once you're running the latest uh, update and this will be for example, in Divi, it will show here if you don't have uh, the latest Divi, but if you do, it'll just come up like this. Now, let's take a look and see where this feature is. So I'm gonna come over here now and create a brand new page. So I'm just gonna call this page, maybe new feature. Click on use Divi Builder. Okay, now for this, I'm going to build this page from, uh, from a pre-made layout because the main idea here is to take a look at the brand new feature uh, because we're going to spend a lot of time trying to design a page from scratch. So let's use a pre-made layout. Okay, so now that we have our library loaded up, what I'm going to do now is just to choose any layout here. It doesn't really matter which layout it is. So I'm going to go with um, this one right here. So I'm gonna click here, use this layout. So now it's going to download all the elements of this page. Okay, so my uh, elements of this page have been added and now it's time to take a look at the page. So there are two ways to use the responsive preview system. So first of all, you can use it by coming over here to the bottom. So if you click here on pretty much any of these icons, you're going to see a brand new interface. So let's go ahead and click here on the tablet view. So once I click here on the tablet view, you notice that we have this preview. So right now we have the default 768 pixels, but notice when I click here, we also have other screen sizes. So if you click on any of these, this is going to show your other screen sizes. So let's say for example, uh, you're on an iPad, you can just click here. And now you can see that this is 768 by 1024. And the really cool thing about this brand new feature is you can also take a look at the landscape mode. Now this is a feature that we did not have before. So now we can also take a look at the landscape uh, landscape uh, view, which is fantastic. So now we can go to uh, any element here and do your tweaks and make sure that it looks great both on landscape and portrait. Okay, so that's the tablet view. Now over here on the phone view, I mean, it's similar to the tablet view. If you click here on this drop down, it shows you all the devices. So you can just choose whatever device uh, that you want to optimize for, or maybe the one that you want to preview and see if it's working really well. So let's go and take a look at the iPhone 11 Pro. So as you can see here, these are the dimensions, uh, 375 by 812. So if you were to make any adjustments, you just go into this module here, make your adjustments. But what I really like about this is you can also take a look at the um, landscape, as I mentioned, and uh, this is available both on the tablet view and also on the phone view, okay? Now, the really cool thing about this as well is you can drag this slider here to take a look at different sizes. So if you want your sign to be pretty much great across all screen sizes, you can just go in here, make your tweaks as you drag this across, just like that, okay? So this is how you can customize this easier. Okay, so let's say you don't want to really take a look at the previews using these icons here on the bottom. So what you can do is you can go to each and every element. So for example, let's take a look at uh, this element here and this is our call to action. So if we wanted to make some changes or adjustments based on our different screen sizes, you'd come over here to design. And let's say I want to work on the heading. Okay, so we have our heading here. 
So what you do now is, uh, let's say we want to take a look at the size. You can just click here, let's say on the phone. And notice we have this new interface, which pretty much is what I showed you here earlier on. But the cool thing about this now is you can go now into this element and start making changes. So for example, here on the phone tab, I can just uh, drag this. Maybe I want that heading to be a bit smaller. So I'm going to leave it at 38. And you know what? This is at 400 pixels. So maybe I just want to see what it looks like across these. And as you can see here, I'm pretty much happy with uh, what this looks like, even at 980 pixels. Okay, so that's great. And this obviously now becomes the tablet view because this is 980. Okay, so you can go in and specifically customize uh, all this. Now, of course, this hasn't gone back to my settings because I did not uh, save this. Now, let's say you want to go to a specific view. So maybe this is a Galaxy, um, say, S20. You can see here we have all our sizes. And if I'm happy with that, I can just save this and also take a look at the landscape. And over here, we can see that things are uh, maybe it's a bit too big. So let's go in and uh, resize this, make it a bit smaller while we're here in this uh, landscape mode. So we save that and you can see here that this looks great. And if we go back to portrait here, that looks also really nice because everything is, in, is on two lines. Okay, so now that we've adjusted this, we also have this other line here. Now this line is what you see above the fold, okay? So you can also adjust this depending on the height of the device you're working on. So you can just drag it up and down here and design uh, accordingly. Okay, so now that we've gone through this, the next thing I want to talk about here is make a default tablet view. So let's say you're designing your website and there's a specific size that you mainly work with that you'd like to apply to all your pages. What you can do is let's say here on uh, this view, in fact, let's be more specific. So let's say Huawei P40, right? Let's say this view here is going to be the view that I want to work on. And these are the dimensions. I can just make this my default view just like just by doing that. So as I start designing um, my site, like for example, uh, let me just come back over here. Let's say I move across the page and I want to uh, work on this. I can click here and go into my design. So the first thing I want to do here is to change the sizes. Now notice what happens if I click here on this uh, little icon and then click on the phone. Notice that this now has gone to my default uh, setting that I set here because this is the 360 by 780 and this also applies to even other pages that you add onto your site. So if you want to get rid of it, you can just click here on reset uh, default view. Okay, so if you reset it, it means that uh, pretty much it's gone, but you can still have the capability of just dragging and using this uh, pretty much uh, anytime you want to use it. But make sure you save before you leave this interface because if you don't, then your settings don't get saved. Okay, so as you can see, this feature here is really, really powerful. It allows us to preview and see what our page is going to look like on different screen sizes. So these screen sizes can be custom or they can be those uh, preset sizes which we have on that drop down. So pretty much this is a brand new feature. In my opinion, this feature is amazing because before we only had two views, the tablet and the mobile, and it was a specific size. So to really see what the site looks like, it was very, very difficult. But now we are able to go in and take a look and preview all these different screen sizes as we design our website. So that's what I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification because by doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. So I'll see you in the next video.